If you have a penis, you want to pay close attention because the following information might save you a lot of trouble and misery. Because once Peronis disease starts to raise its ugly head, you want to take action as fast as possible to prevent your penis from disfiguration. In this video, I will give you a short summary of Peronis disease, who is at risk, how to recognize it and what you can do to stop it. My name is Stefan Buntrock. I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. And if you are looking for first-hand urological information on YouTube, please subscribe to Euro channel. Peronis disease is named after French 17th century surgeon François de la Peronie, who first described this condition. Basically, it's an inflammatory disease of the tissues surrounding the penile corpora by the name of Tunica albuginea. This structure may be compared to a sock that someone put over the cavernous bodies of the penis. This structure is normally quite elastic, so it can stretch out with erections, but with the inflammation, it loses its elasticity and becomes hard in the respective area. So when the penis erects, it starts to bend around this spot. A little angulation would hurt you, but since it is going on over weeks and months, there is potential for angles 90 degrees and more. And this is a big problem, because intercourse will eventually become impossible. The cause of the inflammation is not really known, but there seems to be an association with cardiovascular risk factors, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, but also with low testosterone levels, penile trauma during sexual activity, and an association with another of those French diseases, du Poitrain's contracture, that is. This disease causes one or more fingers to bend towards the palm. They remain in this position and cannot be straightened out anymore. Peronis disease is most likely underreported and it is estimated that 1 in 10 men will get it sometime during his life. How do you recognize Peronis disease? To begin with, it is difficult because things have a tendency to remain unnoticed for quite a while. Some patients report that they went to bed with a straight penis and literally woke up the next day with a bent penis. Most of the time, however, the angulation is preceded by painful erections over the course of several weeks. They are a sign of the inflammation. Another sign may be nodules within the penile shaft. These so-called plaques are typical of Peronis disease and they can easily be felt when examining the penis. With erections, these plaques are responsible for a change in penile shaft appearance. Often it takes the form of an hourglass in the respective area. One very unpleasant consequence of the disease is that it causes the penis to shrink. Most men with Peronis disease will lose penile length. The amount is highly variable, but most will notice a 1 to 2 cm shortening, equaling a half to 3 quarters of an inch. Age is also a predictor of risk. The disease mostly affects men in the second half of their lives, but it can also be seen at young age, depending on the presumed mechanism of origin. If there is trauma involved, it might as well develop in somebody's 20s. 10% of the patients with Peronis disease are younger than 40 years. So once you experience one or several signs of Peronis disease, you should seek professional help immediately, because in the early stages, progress may be stopped by anti-inflammatory drugs, penile stretching, and possibly also shockwave therapy. When it comes to treatment protocols, there are a billion things which have been tried. I am convicted that any treatment has to be multimodal as any monotherapeutic approach seems to have failed so far. The inflammatory phase will last for about two years. During this time, the disease will very often get worse. So if you choose to just wait and see, you may also do that because once the inflammation has gone, surgery might just be the right thing to do. But should you choose to take action, do it as early as possible. If you want to know what I do in my practice, please watch the videos in this playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.